Y'all want good music, good quality sound? Go, man. Eddie Go, man. That's where it's at. Sam Monk Studios, man. Being in the studio, Sam Monk Studios, it's got to be next door to heaven. I mean, that's exactly how it feels to me. I love the studio, you know what I'm saying? We live in effect, you know what I'm saying? We be dropping that fire. The working with Gomez been real good, and I'm gonna I'm do my whole project with Gomez. He's a pretty cool cat down to earth, you know, and I appreciate him, you know what I'm saying, for showing me how to get things right. Straight real nigga, straight street shit, man. For real, he the truth, you know what I'm saying? He really inspired me, to, you know what I'm saying, to keep doing this music, so, you know what I'm saying? He got my brain ways of moving on another level, so you know what I'm saying? He dropping this dope ass beat, and I'm dropping them dope ass lyrics. I love when I'm here. I've never had a bad experience in Sam Monk. Um, it's just so inspiring. It's not better to do this. First to work on edit, that's how it is. But like, I feel that it's more helpful to edit. You know what I'm saying? First he's not just getting there to get paid for doing it. But at the same time, he's helping you extra. To me, it's the best. You know what I'm saying? You get good quality. Uh, you work hard. I've been knowing Eddie for about a year and a half, almost two years now, man, and working with that man, you know, you learn new things. It's just a, it's just an excitement for me, man, you know what I'm saying? The feeling is good, uh, the price is just good. Uh, not only that, the quality that came out, the producer, Eddie, uh, he actually sat back on things, you know what I'm saying? He worked on us a few times with, uh, with just segments that needed working on. The cool man is different from most of engineers that I worked with in the past. Dude, good, man. I mean, versus what I did with the last person I worked with, he would help you, but he personally was like a person that really didn't want to get his input on what you do. But when you're working with somebody else and they do it like, well, okay, you paid me for this, but I'm also helping you out why I said you did mistakes that because I'm so into music myself. I get you know, my opinion across, and at the same time, I receive different opinions, and I know that I'm in good hands. I trust my music here, I trust everything. Y'all really want that good quality, good sound? That's where you need to be at. So you see that's where I'm at right now. But me and him on the same level, you know, we vibe on the same thing. We feel like this ain't right. We will both, you know, try to come up with some kind of figurations on it. You know, and if they, once we get the figurations on it, we both lay it down. You know, one thing I'm glad, and I can really say about him, you know, is that he ain't gonna let you get behind those mic, you know what I'm saying? Or better yet, let you get in the booth and just put it down and don't, you know what I'm saying, try to tell you what's wrong with your music. He'll let you know you're doing things wrong on your music, so therefore, you know, when they go out, you're gonna get a good product. Instead of like some producers, they more worry about their money, so therefore, they just be like, yeah, this sound good, that sound good, but he'll let you know if your junk sound like shit, it sound like shit, and it sound good. Good. Every time I went, I felt so comfortable, man. It's, it's not a, you walk into a business necessarily. I mean, of course, they're doing their same business-wise, but it was it was more comfortable. It's a great place to want to start your career, so anybody looking to start your career in the music business and you don't want anyone cutting corners or sugarcoating anything, come to Sam, uh, and you can take that from Iron Mike. Camden County, where you at? St. Mary's, where you at? Jay's Pub, where you at? You know what it is, Sam Oak Studios in this motherfucking house. Check it out. This one goes out to all the motherfuckers talking shit. It's the Kashik Records. Eddie Gomez, El Papote. Henry Peña Fiel. Big Chubs. Check it out. I hear them bitches saying. I ain't wearing panties. Hit me at the nightclub. Money at the party. I hear them haters saying. Motherfucker Sam up with them people stand up taking all the money. I hear them hoes be saying You don't have to ask me, throw me in the backseat, pull my hand and thank me. I hear my niggas saying Turn that fucking beat up, that's that shit that Sam up, blowing up this party, party. Nowadays, everybody wanna talk, but they got something to say So I listen up to the fucking chit-chat going on at the pub Let me sit down before I do something dumb Like go click-clack with a gat to your mug I don't give a fuck about you or your thugs I'ma go ham, you better ask some more After this show, dude, dude swag is crazy, yo Got the, got the whole, whole crowd hype Everybody was crazy, this nigga's hype, man It's crazy, a big dude, you never expect that from a nigga like that, man <laughs> Going bananas off the charts, you know what I mean? So we get in here and we work hard on what we do, and then the final result always turn out to be like fantastic. You know, first, they stay like that, beast mode on that, on that, on that music too. Up and coming producer, one of the greats, one of my favorites. You need somebody working for you, not working for themselves. 
It's actually a good thing, man. I personally like working with Eddie. As a rapper, you know, you go into the studio with a monster, you know, you gotta be perfect, you know, you got the beat, you got the vocals, you got, you got the lyrics, you got it in your head a certain way, and if it doesn't come out that way, you don't want it. And probably the type of dude you won't stop to exactly the way you want it. You got to have some kind of personality to go with your flow, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people can spit, but what's behind what you're spitting, what, 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 what do you got that people want to possess, you know what I'm saying, they car and they ride, you know what I'm saying, it's more than just, just music, it's a swag that you carry with yourself, so, working with Eddie, he's going to allow me the opportunity to uh, build not just Bottle Society, but Trippies as a personality in this rap game. We go for perfection, I appreciate it. We look out for each other, we like family now, you know what I mean? Everybody in these corners, you know what people want to hear. Um, so he threw in, you know, here and there, bits and bites. You know, more heads is better than two. You want somebody to feel good about your record. And not only that, he gave us corners. He wasn't so worried about charging us as having a good product for what was already charged. He really enjoyed, like, the order music. Because a lot of people you just go and they, it's really just about a business. But from working with Gomez, I feel like he really enjoyed music also. Sometimes I may do something and he feel like, you know, you can do it this way and make it a lot better. So I think he enjoyed music as well as I. And it's almost, what? Well, let me see, it's almost two o'clock and we still in here grinding, you know what I'm saying? Eddie, that's where you can get that business at. There's a lot more than being a rapper, you know, knowing 16s, and knowing how to lay down the chorus and the hug and some verses. It's a lot more complicated than that. It's the marketing, it's the promoting, it's the advertisement, it's the desk, it's the demos, and it's crazy. It's not one thing I, I, I don't think I asked Pat to do for me that he doesn't do. You know, he is just a great producer, a very great producer, and also a wonderful audio engineer, very experienced. Um, he is truly, truly a blessing, and I thank God for him. Sam Monk Studios. Catch the record is moving up, man. Y'all better figure out what Sam Up Studios is, first of all. <laughs>